Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation in our lead story tonight. Is Sri Lanka's health in crisis? Now I'm not talking about the economy even though uh, that health too is in shambles but I'm talking about the crisis looming in the health sector. A no confidence motion against the Minister of Health Kehli Ramakalla will be presented to the parliament this week and here the opposition hopes to make a statement regarding the health sector's issues. However, there's a conversation about uh, another no confidence uh, motion brought in by the Samuk Janabalavegia concerning the Minister of Public Security Tiranalas because according to the opposition, he has failed to create a safe and secure environment. But tonight's our focus is on health, not just the administrative part, but more so the issues that have arisen since of late. Now, one of the biggest accusations against the Minister of Health is that he has failed to secure a, a process to import quality and safe medication into the country. Several fatalities were reported, as you know, across the nation um, due, to the, due to using uh, substandard drugs. But the other question at hand is when the economy needs stability within the country, is it ethical to bring in such a no-confidence motion against the government? Or we post that question to the main opposition, the Samagi Janabalaveke. Watch. A no confidence motion is being brought because there is an unprecedented health crisis in the country. Uh, there is a lack of drugs, no drugs. People go into the hospitals and they come out with no medicines, pharmaceuticals. They have going in search of these pharmaceuticals. Then also there is an accusation that the quality of drugs are of low quality. And uh, this low quality has also been a big issue. There has been an Indian line of credit and under the Indian line of credit uh, companies have been bringing in drugs and uh, the quality of those drugs have been in question. And in fact, uh, the Supreme Court granted leave in April 2023 uh, for, to proceed with a case on quality, safety and efficacy of drugs. We have to fix the system. The minister needs to understand the NMRA Act, if there are shortcomings, needs to be fixed. The medical ordinance needs to be fixed, not done away with, so that decisions are going to be made by politicians, ministers and cabinet. These decisions have to be made with specialists in the field. So we need to fix the system, not just be just critical and try to take things to our hands and think that we can do it. Politicians need to know their limitations, their speciality. We are there on policy and on making legislation. That's what we should be doing. So let's strengthen the system. If this minister doesn't understand it, obviously he has to go. Somebody asked me what will happen in the no confidence motion. Will you all win the no confidence motion? Well, it's not a question of winning. We will take a vote by name so that the people in this country will know how their representatives have voted on this no confidence motion. Well, within this week, the no confidence uh, motion is expected to hit the parliament and debates will take place on the matter. I'm sure we as a nation will learn more about the issues about the administrative part of the health sector, which would be a vital part indeed. Now, as you know, all this is a numbers game. So the government seems confident that they have the numbers. In fact, the president himself made it compulsory for all parliamentarians to be present in parliament this week just to make sure that the government can collectively defeat the no confidence confidence motion. So can the opposition break the government's strong wall of numbers? This is what some of the opposition, opposition members had to say. Watch. On the one hand, almost every trade union in the health sector is almost every day on the road uh, with protest, strikes, uh, work to rule, what not. On the other hand, medical professionals, professionals are leaving the country at a rapid rate which is known as brain drain. As a result, uh, there will be irreversible damage because we need some time to replace the medical officers or consultants because it, is, it, it takes a long time to produce a medical professional. Intolerable corruption. Corruption at every level and every, every aspect of the health sector. To demonstrate our disappointment, frustration and disgust. We will support the no confidence motion against the health minister. See the plight we are in now. The general public has to consume all these medication which are not up to the standard. So semi-standard, substandard medicine has come into the market. It's available. People are utilizing. They can't afford it. On top of that, 
we are saying only one individual is responsible. I think the ministry is not having their reputation. The Minister of Health has no confidence in the public. They think they are just passing the buck from one to the other. Nobody is coming out and really taking the responsibility. Neither people can understand and pick where the problem is. Therefore, there should be a select committee in parliament, go into the matter properly, come out with the proper documentation or a report, then deal with the people who are corrupt and who are responsible. So I think this vote of non confidence the vote of no confidence should be, first of all, against the government of Sri Lanka right now in power. The Tamil National People's Front has uh, uh, agreed to be a signatory to the no confidence motion against the uh, Health Minister, Honorable Kehele Ramukkarla. Uh, of course, this is not a matter uh, that is targeting him personally, uh, but with regards to the way in which the health sector has been handled. Uh, in general by the, uh, by the government. Uh, already as far as the Northeast is concerned, uh, there have been uh, complaints that we have been making in Parliament uh, and outside with regards to severe shortage uh, of essentials, uh, medicine, uh, substandard medicine. Uh, uh, when it comes to cancer patients, there is a cancer hospital in, uh, in Telipade where uh, there is no dye. Uh, to have contrast uh, scannings in, uh, in the Jaffna hospital. So these have been uh, repeated um, complaints that we have been making uh, and unfortunately no, uh, no positive response has, uh, has been reached. We will be f voting in favour uh, of the no confidence motion uh, against the Minister. Well, despite all this, the current Minister of Health, Kehelia Rambukwella, was defiant and confident that he would prevail in the exercise of no confidence. Here's the Minister speaking to us earlier. Well, there's no doubt at all as far as the no confidence is concerned. Uh, well, whether the government has, it is not an issue of numbers. The complaint or the issues that are raised through the uh, you know, confidence motion, the motion, have no relevance whatsoever. It makes, in fact, uh, those complaints or the, the issues that are raised in the you know, confidence motion itself uh, are baseless. So uh, it is not a question of the government is in the majority and therefore that uh, we can go through it. It's beyond that because it's actually incorrect. I mean, after all, like I said before, it's a numbers game and the government seems to be very confident. However, despite all this, there are real issues that need answers. Now, if getting rid of the Minister of Health is helping to solve those issues, then of course everyone will agree that, that it would be the best way forward. But if this is done to gain political mileage, well, that's precisely what I said earlier. We really haven't learned our lesson. Let's take a short break. Upon our return, we will talk to you more about health, specifically the cardiac health of young adults. What's going on? Stick around. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a moment.